Taking a break, few minutes won't harm anything. You sat sitting on the table facing him while his tired eyes were on the laptop, focusing on his fast typing, you sighed and leaned back. Seems like you are really busy these days, wish to get some of your time. His eyes shifted from his laptop to you while you shrugged your shoulder, taking a sip from his hot tea, you sighed. I have to say that you are really a good cook. That's for me darling, I had to finish this file today itself. He said taking the sip from the same cup. You sighed and nodded. You should have married to these file instead of me, you know that? An annoying tone and jealousy from those files were clearly visible in your voice. He smiled and looked at you. You are right, I should have married to these beautiful colorful files of mine. But now, we can't do anything. I have to bear you for my whole life. That's supposed to be my line. You know that. By the way, whatever it is, I'm going to sleep. You said and got up. He signed and grabbed your hand. You looked back at him and he smiled. Signed you to sit. You yawned and messing your hair. You sit beside him. On your periods, your eyes widened. You looked at him shocked while your expression gave all his answers. Oh, how you know? You are too easy to be read, you know that. Well, want something to eat? You pouted and nodded. Actually, I come here to ask you to make something for me. Even instant noodles will be fine with me. I don't feel like cooking. Count it as a favor from my side. I don't take favors. I will return it back by massaging your head. You must be tired, right? Don't worry, I'm happy to take all the stress, knowing that all my stress will be released after having you in my arms. I feel so happy. I should charge you for this, you know that. Why not? Go ahead. After that, I will also charge you for living rent free in my heart. That's illegal, you know that. You chuckle, making him smile too. Should I leave the place then? He pressed his lips together and thinking for a while, after so much pressure, he looked at you, poking his cheek inside and smiled at you while you chuckled. Going to die if I will leave you. Now let's go and make something for me quickly. I will help you but not much as I am feeling so weird and not liking to do anything. It's okay with me if you just sit on the counter and give me instructions. He said closing the laptop and getting up. You smiled and got up following him to the kitchen. I am not that merciless to make my husband do all the work alone. How much warm hearted you are, I can see, killing my this innocent heart every second with your cuteness. But still don't show any mercy. He said looking at you with his side eyes while you laughed. In that case you are a devil to look unexpectedly handsome. By the way, what do you want to eat? Anything you can make quickly, but please, no salad. I am not going to eat those weird things. Come on, it's healthy. And you also said that you want a toned belly. For that, it's important to eat salad. You should know that I never remember what I said yesterday. Just make me toboki with extra cheese. As a wish, princess. Suddenly you trip and was about to fall, but he caught you by your waist. He looked at you and raised his brows while you pressed your lips together. Look, your handsomeness is not helping me to stand straight. In that case, I might be drowning in the ocean right now because your beauty is not any joke either. You smile and hit him on his chest slightly, one of your bad habit but he likes it. Ma'am, please stop, you can't go inside. The bodyguard said running behind you to make you stop but you carelessly walk down the stairs while making loud sounds from your heels. Everyone down there looked at each other panicked. They looked at Jungkook and his eyes were burning fire and then the man lying on the floor, all covered in the blood river. Your chatterbox didn't stop as you were arguing with the bodyguard. Yeah, John Jungkook, you are the one who ordered them to stop me out, huh? 
You said stopping on the second last stair. You are not allowed it to walk in the basement. That's the last place after this. You can't even step one feet ahead. It's not like he will kill you or scold you, but he always follow your rules, fulfill your every wish. So it's your way to respect him. He turned to you and everything changed. His eyes were now soft and lips forming a beautiful smile. You sighed. You were the one, right? We already agree for the last limit of your so they won't do that again. By the way, what you are doing here? You scoffed. I knew it. You promised me something and you seem to forget that, right? We were going to grab my dress today, but you seem not to remember about that. What if they ruin that and we don't even have time to fix it again? Everyone around you looked a little shocked. How only you have courage to speak loudly at him. If there's someone else instead of you, then he might have shoot all his bullet in that person's throat. But when it's come to you, he take everything smiling. What you are thinking? You forgot about that, right? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let's go after I will finish my work. No need to be a gentleman. I don't want others to disturb because of you. You don't care about time, but others care about their health as well. How about tomorrow? Promise? And that's when his heart melts. He chuckled and nodded, making you smile slightly. And what if you broke your promise? You know that I never do that. We will go tomorrow to take your dress. You nodded. Suddenly your eyes went on the man Jungkook trying to cover. You looked around and then at Jungkook but he just smiled. Is everything okay? Why you guys look pale? Nothing. We are just discussing about some random things. Go upstairs. I will be there in few minutes and don't forget to eat your dinner. Okay, finish your work. We will have food together. But... You know that I don't like eating alone. Just come fast and if you don't able to find me in the living room, then I might be in the library. So don't be panic, okay? He smiled and nodded. Waving at him, you walked upstairs. After making sure that you are gone, his eyes again turned dark. He turned back at the man and he got scared again. This time more terrified. Chunko grabbed his collar and pulled him closer to him. It's your last time. Mr. John, I, I really don't. And before he could able to complete his words, Jungkook shoot all the bullets in his head, making the guard standing flinch by his sudden action. It was all silence. Putting the gun on the table, he wiped his hand with a handkerchief. I don't like those who lie. Clean the mess and try to find the connection of him. Others nodded. Taking a deep breath, Jungkook closed his eyes to get some relaxation to his eyes and walked upstairs, signing them to follow him. You are late. You sit shrugging in his chest. You were already asleep, but he woke you up by carrying you in his arms from library to the room. Making you lay on the bed, he covered you with the blanket. You are smelling like a blood. Wait a minute, I will take a quick shower. You had your dinner? You shook your head, still sleeping, gathering his word half only. I don't feel like eating. You know my stomach is paining a lot. I feel like I am going to die. And then I realize who died with cramps. You said and laughed, making him smile. Just go and take shower, but please be a little hurry. I want to cuddle. Just give me two minutes and I will be back. You got it. You said and fall asleep, a quick sleeper. He smiled looking at your cute face. Getting up, he slowly placed a kiss on your forehead and smiled. I protect you, fight for you, love you. Is it not enough for a kiss? It's been a three months but never kiss me, not even on wedding. What happened? It's not good. What should we do now? I told you to come early. Look, you didn't like it and now they don't even have time to fix it. What should we do? 
You said looking at Jungkook whose face goes down as soon as he saw you entering while wearing the dress. Taking a deep breath, he looked at you and sighed heavily. It's not like that. You will never understand the emotions of a man. What's this, Yen? You know why I was so excited. I thought you would ask me to help you to zip up your dress, but you just do everything by yourself. You are not romantic at all. You looked around and grabbing a pillow you throw at him. He caught it and looked at you with his raised brows. Can't you just ask to help me? Is it necessary to say everything to you every time? You should just back inside when I was taking so long instead of sitting here and waiting to be called. Pavo, I thought that I am not looking good in this dress. You should watch your words. You have words timing, you know that? You say rolling her eyes while he chuckles slightly. Getting up from his seat, he walked to you and stand two feet away from you. Checking you from head to toe, he smiled. You look beautiful every time, without even doing anything. And after seeing you in this dress, I feel like not to attend the party. I won't be able to tolerate if someone even looked towards mine. You chuckle while your face turned red making him smile. It's so rare to see you blushing and acting all shy because most of the time you live like a lioness who owns the world. So should we cancel the party and spend time together at home? If you said so. You said and softly kissed his cheek making him a little shocked. He looked at you while you smiled, his confusion still there on his face. To protect me, fight for me, and to love me. You said whispering to him while he chuckled slightly. It's enough for protecting you, fighting for you. But don't you think that it's little to less to love you? Like, you see, I don't want to be greedy, but my love for you is endless. And the kiss is not that much satisfying. So how about a 5 minute long breathless? And before he could able to complete his sentence, you flicked his forehead. Forward. Now come and help me to unzip it or else he will cry for not letting you unzip it. How can you be so innocent when you are a mafia? It's not a fictional or a movie. Here we won't get stuck in a dark room with our crush or just stuck our hair in male lead with it. Everything is fictional. You said getting in the room while he followed you. But here, we can be clumsy enough not to walk four step properly and trip catching the attention of a mafia and then be his weakness. Your cheeks turn red, you look down remembering your first meeting. You enter inside and your eyes widen seeing a huge decoration. A white smile cover your face, not caring about how people are looking at you, the way your mouth wide open seeing the huge hall. These things are common for you but still never fail to make you surprised. Cameras were on the VIP couples of the party but who cares. Your eyes were scanning the whole hall with a wide smile, cameras capturing every small moment of you and Jungkook, the newest and the bestest couple of the global party. Suddenly you feel like getting pulled back. Looking back, you saw Jungkook holding your hand. Your brows raised by his this unwanted smile. Stay still for a moment, they want to capture a couple photo. He said looking at you while your eyes went to the cameraman, smiling slightly or nodded. Gathering your big gown, long gown, you walked towards the spot where everyone was standing for couple picture but tripped. Chunku caught you by your waist before your body hit the ground. You look at him and he smiled. He helped you to stand straight. Thank you. Be careful darling. I can't tolerate you falling again. You are only allowed you to fall for me. You chuckle. Lifting your gown, you look down at your heels and the strip of it got loosened. Taking a deep breath, you looked at him and slightly forward your feet towards him. May I ask you for your help? Why not? The servant is always ready to serve you. 
and that scene become the first page headline of every newspaper the heartless mafia king john jungkook who is himself called that people are afraid even to make eye contact with him his expression is enough to make a person see the living hell but today the same mafia goes on his knees in front of his wife that's really so un- unexpected for everyone the scene was so shocked and unexpected for everyone but also so heartwarming looking at his smile that might be so unex- unexpected to see on his face and those soft stares just screaming that how much you matter for him everyone just thinking to take the stangle picture for this scene while half of the crowd was still in shock fixing her gown he got up and fixed his suit comfortable much better You said smiling at him while he bit his lower lip getting a little closer to you he leans a little to your ear and whispers Stop smiling like this I don't want others to think that I got weak in front of my wife You looked at him and raised your brows why are you ashamed to let them know that your only weakness is your wife Of course not darling I just want to give you the access to get deep in that side You smile and hit his arm making the hall get all silent. The music went off and everyone's face turned pale. You both were so unaware about the situation as you were just lost in your own world. Suddenly you nudge his shoulder signing him to look around. He looked at the people who were looking at you both shocked by your action and his expression. Both the things were so new to them. Chunko fixed his collar and made a straight face again. That's what they want. Smiling slightly, you both give a slight pose for photo shoot and bang at them. You walked inside the party again, enjoying the beauty of the place. But tripped again, making Junko glare at you with his raised brows. You should be more careful while walking. But I don't mind having a Bollywood scene with you again. For having a Bollywood scene, first you should look like a hero, but sadly, you don't even look like a human in any way. He chuckled, holding his hand while your other hand was holding the dress of yours. You get down the way he leads you.